Hey groupies, welcome back to Formal Therapy. This is The Culture Study. I'm the channel's video producer and your host. You can call me PDE. And today we are checking out Fantasia by Monster X. Monster X last comeback was late 2019. They also released an English album earlier this year during Valentine's Day. And I was actually uh, present at one of the events. I got to see them live. John was missing from the lineup, but I did hear that he was going to be back for this comeback. So I'm looking forward to that. Unfortunately, since then, Wano has left the group and and one will be going solo, so uh, Master X is down a member. Uh, so that is unfortunate. Now, we have been in quarantine for a long time, and during this time, if you have needed any sort of distraction or you've needed to uh, find a way to make the days go quicker, why not do something productive with the help of our friends from Skillshare? So Skillshare is a partner we've worked with many times before. I use it currently to learn graphic design, and you can set your own pace. You know, I personally have to juggle my home life and my YouTube stuff and our Patreon stuff, and so I can set my own pace on when I want to learn stuff. I took like a month to go through an indie filmmaking course. I would suggest that. Uh, or right now I'm going through a graphic design course as well. Especially in a period when we have a lot of free time. Some of us can't go to school or can't go to work. Just watching TV and movies all day, at some point that itself can become mundane. So you need something productive in your lives to help make sure your creativity doesn't get stifled. So join Skillshare. In fact, Skillshare has a special offer just for our viewers. For the first 1,000 people who click the link in the description, you get two months free of Skillshare Premium. Skillshare is an awesome community where you can learn new things, whether it's creative, technical. Honestly, what do you have to lose? You have all this time and it's free. So you can learn something within the next two months. So why not give it a try? Use this time to do something productive. The way I see it, we have a responsibility to ourselves to come out of this quarantine being better versions of ourselves than we did when we entered. So if you want two months of free Skillshare Premium, use the link in the description down below. Thank you, Skillshare, for supporting our videos. Thank you guys for supporting our videos. Now, let's get into this video. This is Fantasia by Monster X, and this is your form of therapy. Fantasia, Fantasia. Oh. Ah, oh, Juan is back. Yeah, always I kill. Fantastic death because I slay. Half of the top, my level is A. Then dashing guys down or so tired, bumble can let just make a deal. Oh my god. What a beautiful music video. Interesting chorus choice. Oh, okay. Uh, it wouldn't be a Monster X music video without the classic Shonu dance solo. Ooh. Ooh, video's kind of eerie and creepy. I like it. Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Hmm. So Fantasia by Monster X. So at so I would say this is similar to their previous comeback follow. Um, very actually very similar in different aspects. Like it's a very different comeback, but I would say there are elements that carry over. I would say a big part of, um, or at least something that was kind of very memorable in follow was probably the accent of the gold. I think gold was one of the very big primary colors in that music video. Um, it was very glamorous, very glittery. And this music video is actually the same it's done differently definitely doesn't seem like they're doing the same old thing but it's following that same gold theme um this the genre of the song too it, just like follow uh it has a very high energy uh very dance heavy um much more western inspired pop sound to it um i wouldn't say it's a western song not by a long shot but they are going for it seems certainly a more western appeal at least with follow and now fantasia they still do maintain their roots they still make it k-pop what what makes k-pop k-pop but i can definitely see like especially the main electronic hook that is in the chorus um they're trying to go for more of a bigger spectacle, uh, more of a showmanship vibe. So I can see that influence carrying over as well. Uh, and why wouldn't they? Monster X along with BTS are one of the more popular um, K-pop groups in America, uh, at least even in the mainstream American news cycle. So I can see why they would have a concept that is a lot stronger and more appealing to Western audiences. I can definitely see this grabbing those people too. I feel like my only one complaint would be Juhan really came gunning in the first part of the song and never really uh, came back. I was kind of hoping for like uh, more Juhan at the end. Maybe Juhan and I am together. Um, they both had their individual sections and sometimes their songs are like that, but I was just hoping for a little bit more Juhan because his opening part was so good. Um, I do want to check out this video again because the video very interesting, uh, very... Uh, I would say it's not creepy, but it comes off as like sort of like that kind of dark artistic piece, you know, but it's also interesting because it's covered by all of this glamour as well. So let's watch it again. I love that line, my levity is A. God, look at that. Look at, that's so beautiful. And they, they fill the scene, it looks like, they fill the scene with like these particles here. And then you've got like this kick light right here that's lighting it up even more. Oh. The first part of this course is really interesting. As wild as that instrumental is, it's not as crazy as the second part of the chorus, which that's when it really pops off. But I feel like this first part, you know, the way it's mixed, the, the vocals are a lot more the focus here than the actual instrumental in the background because those like electronic elements shooting off, those could be way louder. In fact, th those types of things are usually louder, but it's actually not as loud. And I feel like the focus is more on their voice and like they're not even shouting. I, I mean, freaking half the song is like uh, shouting and Keon just like screaming his voice off. But for the chorus, they actually go for something that's a little bit more controlled, a little bit more sexy. Like it feels a lot more seductive because they're going for something that's a little bit more lower in tone. <laughs> Back, back, back. Oh, 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 oh. Let me be a 
I love this part too, this group chorus of the ho oh, 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 that kind of like driving the instrumental. Like it's not just like that whiny electronic sound in the background. Like uh, it's also like they've also got like very like tribalistic um, pads. So like it sounds like it sounds more like war drums and the way they're dancing too. I mean, if you look at uh, this this move right here. Yeah, it just feels so much more aggressive. This scene with all of these dancers in the black masks uh, surrounding I am is really, really interesting. Uh, very creepy because if you look at the architecture of the room, what uh, I am is wearing, everything is like very, um, I would say very regal looking. Um, everything like this whole black and gold theme, it looks very artsy. Um, very beautiful, very glamorous, um, very, very like almost like royalty. But you have like these like very ominous looking figures, especially with their face being covered. Uh, kind of reminds me of like the video I did for React to the K. Um, having them dance all around him, especially in like wild erratic patterns, also like it it, it it creates a very weird unsettling feeling especially given like how everything is so like beautiful in the background but then this in the foreground is so creepy <laughs> how come kyun's scenes are all beautiful i mean probably because he's beautiful so it's fitting like, look at that. Look at the glittering in the background. Wow. That sounded like Shonu going lower and Kion singing higher on top of him. That sounded really good. Oh, that sounds amazing. This part's really interesting. It has like this very beautiful twinkling piano sound, but then it's got like these like very hard hitting uh, pad build up, and even just look at Kion himself, like just like looking very aggressive. It's like it, the the contrast in that is really is really interesting, especially because of how hard he's dancing. But then the scene you see here is so beautiful, laid out them under the tree. <laughs> Man, that is that is impressive. Oh, I like this a lot more than follow. I mean, I don't know. I think spectacle. Uh, Miss follow better. Hmm. I 
Here's the problem. Okay, Fantasia and Follow are so similar in their styles. Like, at least what they're going for. The genre and the execution are... Well, I wouldn't say the genre is different, but the execution is so different. It's like... Is it weird to say that a group's comeback is on equal parring of their previous comeback, but, like, on a completely different way? Like... I don't think Fantasia is any better than Follow, and I don't think Follow is any better than Fantasia, both in the song and the music video. Like, there are different things I love about the Follow music video way more than Fantasia, but I also love different parts of Fantasia, especially like this more, um, this mix of like this beautiful architecture with like the more creepy uh dancers and all of that like there it's just completely different like i can't even say one over the other because both of the genres are the same because usually in a situation like this when two comebacks are really really good at least one comeback the genre is different enough it's like okay well i favor this type of song a lot more i type i favor this type of genre a lot more so you know usually i can at least pick one but this one it's the same genre, just different execution. So I, I feel like the only way to like, I feel like like judge and rate this is to say that it is literally on the exact same quality and par of follow. And mind you, I think Monster X has been going up in quality in their music videos with every comeback. I mean, ever since they really found their footing uh, and popping off in the western market like the production of their music videos has been taking off more and more i mean like think about fantasia like compared to like shine forever shine forever being one of my favorite title tracks or jealousy like it's just night and day i think uh monster x uh is definitely producing some of the more wild beautiful music videos um and i i i know it sounds like a cop-out but if you guys have watched my videos for a long time you you know that like i will very clearly say if i like one comeback over the other but i think fantasia is literally on the same exact par of follow i just think it's like not any better or not any worse than the other it hit the exact same level of quality but guys that is my thought on Fantasia by Monster X. What do you guys think? What, what, what do you think? Do you agree with me? Is it the exact same quality and caliber of follow? Or do you prefer one over the other? Let me know in the comments down below. And also, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I greatly appreciate you guys uh, checking out Skillshare. It helps us out on the channel. But also, more importantly, I want you guys to actually learn a new skill, actually do something productive during this quarantine, you know, especially if you're bored and don't have a lot of things to do. Um, also, another way to support us is actually hitting us up on Patreon. If you go to patreon.com slash formatherapy, you get early access to reactions like this and more. Um, for just a little bit more, you also get live stage reactions, variety show reactions, reality show reactions we're checking out road to kingdom this month so go ahead and join us for that however supporting us monetarily is completely optional if you don't want to or you can't we understand why don't you go ahead and just hit like down below smash that like button i hate saying that because that's such a youtuber trope but i gotta say it because when you hit the like button it actually helps us out with the youtube search algorithm when you leave a comment and you discuss with our videos it leaves uh, an impression on the algorithm as well. So we greatly appreciate your support. Uh, if you're new, if you're a new mom baby, go ahead and consider hitting subscribe. Be notified when we upload a new video by hitting that notification bell. Go ahead and check out all our other videos over here on this side. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.